the most anticipated aircraft release is here. We've got that all covered, including all of this week's latest announcements and release news. So let's jump into this week's video. Welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator update video. This is where we take a look at all the Flight Sim news, developments, and highlights in one weekly video. Before we jump into this week's video, I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody for all your support for watching the videos and subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. That way you know when our next video goes live. Kicking off this week's previews and announcements, and the first one goes to the team at Top Mark Studios. Their F-22 should be arriving soon. The team have produced a freeware version of the F-22 and it's been working on a premium payware edition of this aircraft, which is expected to be released very soon. The F-22 has been in development for over a year now and will be coming with a long list of features. Top Mark mentions that we should expect to see a fully animated and functional cockpit. The team is implementing a fly-by-wire control system for the F-22 Two, and it will be able to uh, reach speeds of a Mark 1.7 over at 50,000 feet. Some of the visual effects have been mentioned, which will be a wing tip of water seas, afterburner heat plumes, a vapor clouds when breaking through the sound barrier. It appears the development is reaching its final stage, and we should hear a release or some news about release time very, very soon. The next announcement for the week goes to the team at Cox Bar. I announced this week they are in development with a Citation Mustang. This will be the second aircraft for the team after they just recently released the Arapat A22 last week. There hasn't been a much um, love in the world of business jets when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator of late, so it's good to hear that there is more development and more business jets on the way. No other details at this point apart from the team that recently uh, released a teaser of the uh, Mustang. Does it really so too much but of course we're going to keep you posted of any more development on this one moving on to this week's releases and the first release is a black box simulations this week releases its bn2a trislander this aircraft is a longer version of the islander and the team claims this to be a steady level version of the trislander this aircraft is an iconic island hopper which features exceptional low speed handling for all those unique airports to fly into the feature list includes four variants of the aircraft high detail accurate exterior and interior modeling accurate wires a sound pack authentic fuel systems, a tip tank fuel transfer system, all circuit breakers are fully operational I should say, and ground services include chocks, pitot heat covers, a gas lock, a step, uh, steps and engine covers. You can pick up your copy of the Black Box Simulation Trislander directly from their store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Just in case you missed it and you've been living underneath a rock, PMDG has released the most anticipated aircraft in recent times in flight simulation history, which is the Boeing 737-700 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the first variant of the series and we expect to see more releases in the, in the next weeks to come, including more updates to the 700. The 600 is expected to be released in June, followed by the 800 in July. PMDG are Boeing 737 family study level aircraft are expected to see every function of the aircraft modeled to a very high standard. All the system simulations for all the major and minor aircraft system components have been simulated and it has a high sophisticated logical simulations of the onboard information systems and the aircraft management. The PMDG 737 comes with a customized flight model with enhanced physics. The feature list of the aircraft is very long and the 737-700 is a early adopters version. We will see some more features added such as the EFB to the cockpit tablet later on when the other updates for the other aircraft come along. You can pick up your copy of the PMDG 737-700 directly from the PMDG store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now if you're on the fence about picking this one up, I will leave a couple of links below of some awesome video creators demonstrating the 737 and that might make your mind up if you should go for this one or wait for the next one. Apex Gaming PCs and the Oz Flight Simulator channel have partnered up to create a range of gaming flight simulator PCs tailored to flight simulation uh, pilots in mind. The private pilot and the commercial pilot range has been designed to provide a great frame rates if you are on a budget or if you're an experienced simulator and want to take it your simming to the next level. You can even customize to suit uh, your virtual pilot needs. Links in 
in the description below if you want to check out the new range of Ausflight Simmer PCs, the Private Pilot and the Commercial Pilot. Moving on to some airport news this week, in MK Studios this week releases Cork Airport. Cork Airport is the second busiest airport in Ireland after Dublin International Airport and handles around about 2 million passengers a year. The main airliners we would see at Cork Airport is Ryanair and Aer Lingus who serves up to 40 destinations from Cork Airport. MK Studios have created a simple but impressive version of the airport with features including high definition PBR textures, satellite imaging of the airport area high resolution elevation data runway profiles and you can pick up your copy of MK Studios Cork Airport directly from the Orbex Direct Store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Kicking off this week's Sim Update news, a Sim Update 9 patch was released this week, version 1.25.9.0. This week's patch addressed some general bug fixes for the simulator that has been caused by Sim Update 9. The Asobo team at beta tested the Sim Update 9 for four weeks with two different build updates, but they still had a few bugs slipping through. The team is working hard to identify the gaps to aim to better cover these cases moving forward when it comes to beta testing Sim Update. The next world update is still on schedule for May 17th. The launch follows it by the Maverick DLC, which we'll see on the 25th of May. So May or towards the end of May is going to be a pretty epic month. The team is still holding their cards close to the chest when it comes to any insights into the Maverick DLC, including the price. But we'll have a development Q&A live stream on May the 25th, which is the same day that the DLC launches, which they'll go through in much detail of what it includes. So if you're on the fence then you can check it out from them and see if you want to pick it up this week we've also seen seven new airport releases in the various stores around the globe three new aircraft three new sceneries and one mission pack on the market side of things we have seen 22 new products released this week 10 of those are on pc and 12 are on xbox the just flight bae 146 is the biggest highlight when it comes to the marketplace this week as this study level airliner was just recently released a couple of weeks back by just flight has now hit the marketplace already and is available for both PC and Xbox. That's right, there's a study level airliner available for Xbox users. Sim Federation Phenom 300E is another aircraft released this week and it is also available for PC and Xbox. And it's nice to see another business jet making the rounds in the sim. Other releases in the marketplace are in such things as airport releases and livery packs. If you got this far in the video, thank you very much. As always, you guys are a bunch of aviation that legends. Please leave a comment below what you liked about the video, or if you just wanted to say hi, it's much appreciated. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us grow and spread the word of flight simulation around YouTube. And also, we stream every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you want to come and join a no frills a multiplayer or a large multiplayer flight, um, yeah, hit that subscribe button and we'll let you know when our next one is going to be. I'm going to leave you with one of our other flight simulation videos here. Why don't you check that one out and I will see you over there.